Hey everybody, God bless you, God bless you. It is Kimberly here from Free Dance Ministry Resources. And listen, I'm gonna bring you guys in to a live broadcast that I am just about to do for the Gathering Connection Fellowship Facebook group, all right? So I'm gonna be looking here and I'm gonna be looking at over here at the camera, all right? So let me just get set up here. And just give me one second. I'm going to turn my baby monitors off. <laughs> All right. So I have my baby monitor off. <laughs> so we can get started. All right, guys. So I'm going to be bringing in the Facebook group. Hi everybody, Grace and Peace Facebook. Welcome to finally, right, this week's GCF Facebook Live session. Joining us is our YouTube audience. God bless you, YouTube. God bless you, God bless everybody. I don't, I'm gonna see if I can put the chat up so I can see as you guys, hi! Hello, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And hello, GCF family. I pray that everybody has had a blessed day. I pray that you guys have been well. I know it's been some time since I've been doing lives on Facebook. I think it's been probably about a month. And even our YouTube family, you know, I think um, me and my husband did one a couple of days ago, but that was the first one in, in a while. So I am so excited to be to be back. So you may see me kind of juggling here. I got the baby monitor in one hand. <laughs> I, I'm on Facebook, YouTube, amen, amen. So this is what has been happening. So listen, a YouTube, if this is your, most of you guys are probably subscribers. So thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. And Facebook family, so we, recently moved and for some reason i'm sorry facebook family give me one second because the chat isn't coming up so i'm having problems seeing all right so what i'm gonna do facebook just hold a uh, youtube just hold on for one second okay facebook give me give me a second because i actually have to end the broadcast it looks like i'm on the wrong channel one second, so I'll be right back. Technical difficulties, right? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna end this and go to here because this is set to the wrong. So YouTube family, listen, give me a shout out. Let me see who is joining us. God bless you, put in, YouTube family, put in the city, state, or even country, if you reside outside of the US, I love to give everybody a shout out and I love to say hi to everybody as we get set up here. I do have a word of encouragement that I wanna share with you. So, okay, so one second. Hey babe. So my husband actually set me up, but it set up on the wrong person. So that's why it was not, it wasn't working. So I'm gonna get set up here in a second. I tell you, see when it's live, it's live, right? <laughs> when it's live, it's live. Let me just log in here. All right, so now I'm on my page. <laughs> Texas, God bless you, Houston, Texas. God bless you. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. I see the countries coming up. God bless you. God bless you, God bless you. God bless you. Juliana, that's such a beautiful name. Denise, God bless you. Bo, Bobada, I think that's 
pronounced correctly. It might not be, but God bless you. Louisiana, my husband's originally from Louisiana. Indiana, God bless you guys. God bless you. And you guys already know that I reside in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are almost there. We are almost there. All right. So I have Facebook set up. So we are almost there. Almost there. All right. We're live. <laughs> YouTube family, listen, thank you so much for your patience. And Facebook family, God bless you. Welcome to this week's GCF Facebook Live. Joining us on Facebook is our free dance ministry resources, YouTube family. Y'all know I love you. God bless you. And Facebook family, thank you so much for your patience. I know that we have not had a live um, probably since September. Probably since se se September. Um, with the worship arts encounter that we just did here in Plymouth meeting, I really needed that time to just, you know, soak before the Lord and um, not to be so busy. And we're going to talk just a little bit about that. Those of you that, you know, do workshops or conferences or encounters like what we did, um, you have the tendency to not only work until the last minute, but you have the tendency of just, you know, overworking and you don't rest enough. You don't eat properly. You don't, you know, get you, you're dehydrated um, and you don't spend time with the father. You know, your, your whole devotional life is totally disrupted. <laughs> so that's something that you definitely do not want to have. Um, so I needed to take that time off to do that. God bless you, Wendy. God bless you. God bless you. You definitely need to take that time off. So GCF family, as you're coming on, put in the city and state that you are joining. So far on our YouTube family, we have Indiana in the house. We have Texas in the house. We have Jacksonville, Tennessee in the house. We have Louisiana in the house. We have um, some other countries in the house. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. All right, guys. So listen, tonight, um, I just have a few announcements, very few, and then I'm going to go into the word of encouragement, and then we're going to have a time of prayer. So next Thursday, um, we're going to be broadcasting. <laughs> Amen, Stacy. We're going to be broadcasting um, Thursday, uh, October the 31st. On, um, God bless you. God bless you, Philadelphia Evangelist. God bless you, Evangelist Reynolds. Um, we're going to be broadcasting next Thursday, um, the 31st at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, if I'm running a little late, it's due to technical difficulties, like tonight was, was a little bit technical difficulties as well. But um, we're going to be broadcasting live, and we're going to have a time of prayer and intercession. Um, I don't want to talk too much into it because it's kind of going to bring my mind into um, what the next seven days may entail for some. Those of you that are intercessors may already be feeling, um, I don't want to say a darkness, but you may be feeling some shifts, some changes um, in the spirit, spirit realm um, going up into October the 31st. So, you know, if you are, know that you're not alone. Um, God has need of you to intercede and to war because there are others that are interceding and warring that are not of the kingdom of God. Amen. So join me next Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be broadcasting here on YouTube as well as the Facebook GCF page. Amen. All right. God bless you, Hillside, New Jersey. God bless you. God bless you. Um, my next announcement is, oh, the Worship Arts Encounter was wonderful. I did a thank you video. My husband and I did a thank you video thanking all of the session leaders, the vendors, um, thanking those that came, those that could not come but still prayed for us. Um, so it was absolutely wonderful. Um, it's funny, my husband recently asked, when was the next time that we were going to do um, an outside worship dance event? So um, he was like, you have to do it before it gets cold. So, <laughs> so I'm going to be looking over the schedule 
to see. And those of you that are a part of our YouTube family, if you're in the tri-state area or if you're able to drive in to Philadelphia, then you're more than welcome to join us during one of our dance outreach, our, our worship dance events. And basically we go outside and we dance. We go outside and we intercede through dance. We go outside and we, you know, release our worship and release our praise. And we do that probably for about an hour or so. The last time we did it, um, we, we, we do it in public places, sometimes parks. You know, we do it where the Lord, where we feel the Lord is sending us. So last time we did it in an area called Penn's Landing. Um, there was one done in Jersey by sister, our sister Tanya Ribeiro that was done in New Jersey, the, I think a, a, a few months back in the summertime, or right before the summertime. And then before that, we did one in Philadelphia. And it was um, Penn's, Penn's Landing, if you're not familiar, familiar with it it's right by the water um, right by um, I think it's the Schuylkill River and um, it, it, it had a lot of lot of people stopped us and were talking with us matter of fact I prayed for two people that that were there um, children came up to us it was just a beautiful time of ministry and some people just stopped and just watched us dance um, it was glorious it was absolutely glorious so we're gonna be doing that again so look for another date amen look for another date for that in the coming weeks also christ center is going to be doing an event on december the 6th so you're going to be seeing more information on youtube as well as facebook on that so hopefully you'll be able to support that god bless you massachusetts in the house god bless you we have like we must have at least 10 states represented here and two countries so far. <laughs> so yes, God bless everybody. So um, my word, I think that's all the announcements that I have. I think that's it. So my word of encouragement to those that are watching live, to those that are watching during the replay is I just wanted to share my testimony. And, it, you know, I was like, Lord, what do you want me to say tonight? Because I'm really, um, I'm really focused in, God bless you, God bless you. I'm so focused in on next Thursday and what I'm feeling and what I'm sensing. And, you know, based off of the teaching that I received during the worship arts encounter from, from so many, um, including my husband, on shifting atmospheres and what that entails and, and how does that relate to creation. Um, really bringing my mind so that we can effectively war and effectively counteract um, prayers and, and all types of um, all types of things I'll just call them incantations spells um, whatever you call it um, I'm not sure what the actual some of their terminology is but you know how do we counteract that and I know that one way is by our praise and by our worship we really um, minimize that we really do and we as worship artists carry that in our arsenal as one of our major weapons but sometimes we ourselves have our mouths closed sometimes we ourselves are the one that are silent sometimes those that are called to engage in movement ministry or using movement ministry are not moving um, some of those that are called into the realm of intercessory dance are not interceding. Um, so we have to know our weapons and we have to be not only specific, but we have to be individualistic with them, meaning that your weapon is not my weapon, right? Your weapon is not my, my weapon. We may have some similarities, but the way that God has fashioned me to praise and to worship and to war is not the same way that he fashioned you or you because we're all uniquely created by the hands of the father and we all have these instruments that the father or tools if if you will that the father has given us and it really is up to us to spend that time with him with the holy ghost to discover what they are and then for him to teach us now when I say him, I don't want, I, because some people, some people believe that basically they don't believe that nobody can teach them. And that's just erroneous in my opinion, because there wouldn't be 
the fivefold ministry gift of a teacher if a teacher was not needed at some point in your walk. I mean, even the Old Testament um, prophets had had teachers. They had schools of of the of the prophets. Now, can the Holy Ghost do all the teaching for you? Yes, He can. But I think that is not the path of most people. Now, some because God can do anything. I don't want to say, you know what I mean? Because God did take me through a season where it was just me and Him. But he's taken me through many other seasons where it was me and I was sat under someone and me and I had, you, do you know what I'm saying? I submitted myself to be taught. So when I talk about, you know, knowing what is in your arsenal and allowing the Holy Ghost to teach you, he may be using a person, right, to do that where you hear the voice of God in what they say. You hear the voice of God in their teachings. And though you might not feel like you're being groomed or trained, you're being prepared for the next place where God is going to take you. So that's, that's, that's one thing that we definitely have to do. We have to know and be comfortable with not only how God has made us, but be comfortable with using the tools that we have. Um, be proficient at it. Be excellent at it. Right? No, no sense of having the ability to do something if you never do it, if you never use it. Right? Um, I want to also bring, so that, that's, that's just one of the things that was on my heart. Um, I want to I wanna go to Isaiah, I want to go to Isaiah 58. Um, but this weekend has literally shifted me. And I believe that even if you now, even if you were not at the worship arts encounter, you should still still be feeling some type of shift or a change or a beckoning or God calling you into a time of either fasting, prayer, higher, um, not higher, but a deeper time of devotion. Me, I'm not talking about the length of time. It's what you do in that devotional time. Um, but you should be feeling something. Now listen, put put it in the comment section, especially those of you that are on YouTube. Um, if you do feel that, uh, whether or not you were at the Worship Arts Encounter or not, and those of you that, that are watching on, on Facebook, just, just let me know if you are feeling that as well. Because I do feel that, a ch I mean, by Friday, I felt it. I felt like almost a different person by Saturday, completely different. There were some things that I tolerated before I can no longer tolerate. There were things that I had patience for, I have no more patience for. It's like certain seasons have now completely ended. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And something new has begun. You know, the Lord, like one of the scriptures that he said, and I, I, I'm not taking this out of context, but you know, he does desire to do new things in our lives. Um, now it shall spring forth, and then he says, shall ye not know it? So that's why I want you to put it in the comment section, because when God does something new, you should be aware of it, right? You should feel it. You should sense it. Um, you should be ready to walk through it. Now, I'm going to go to Isaiah 58, and after this, we're going to have a time of, of prayer. And listen, I... Guys, listen, you do feel it. Yeah, you feel the shift and a new purpose behind my dance. Amen. Yes, feeling a kingdom shift. Amen, Denise. Yes, it certainly is. We are in a new year now, according to God's calendar, right? We have crossed over. We are already in the new era. You know, whether or not it's not January, whether or not it's January 1st or not, according to God's calendar, we are in a new year. So we should have, you know, you should feel that shifting as God prepares us for the next 10 years. And just like Denise's comment from YouTube, our YouTube family, um, God desires to use your dance ministry in new ways in ways that you never even thought possible. I believe that God is going to be releasing in this next 10 years, in this next decade, revelation and, and wisdom and knowledge and keys 
in the area of worship arts that we never even considered. I believe that there are some things that are time sensitive. Now we're in time, right? But God is in eternity. He doesn't, we, we have time because we need the, the we need discipline and we need all of this stuff, right? <laughs> right. We need, we need time. Our minds cannot fathom eternity, just that concept, right? But anyway, as long as we are in the right position to receive, there is, there are doors that are going to open for you. There are doors and not doors as platforms. And, and I mean, they, that, that may happen as a result of you being in a new place, right? A new dimension. But there are going to be doors that are going to be open to you. And these are doors to deeper levels of revelation. There are doors that are going to start opening to you. There's going to be times when God is going to have you sit down now this is why because you know honestly guys i did just write my second devotional called abiding in the vine and i'm actually working on my third one if you can believe it um but i was like lord why devotionals <laughs> you know what i mean because i believe um what he gave me was that i need my people i need my worship artist to sit down and to meditate on my word because we don't really have a good habit of that. Some of us, the majority of worship artists and dancers really don't have a good practice and discipline of having a time where we meditate on the word of God and are silent and, and, and silent before him and ponder things so that the word of God can challenge our mindset, right? The word of God can knock down these strongholds of thought that is in our minds that's preventing us from going to those doors that God has prepared for us. Those doors of revelation, those doors of deep, deeper wisdom, those doors of, of new, if you will, right? Because we have entered into a dispensation. Hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. We have entered into a dispensation of time where there is so much revelation being poured out. I mean, it's just, it's just, there's so much revelation that's being poured out. Like God has opened invitations with all of our names on it if we would just be still before him and get into a habit and a discipline of having that time where we sit before him. There are new assignments. I mean, some of you watching and some of you watching on YouTube or on Facebook may be just like, we're like, I've been doing this for like so many years. Like y'all just, you may be like not stagnant, but like almost entering into a level of complacency where you're just like, it's the same thing. Like there has to be more there. There's got to be more to this. There has to be more than just practicing. Now, don't don't take this the wrong way. Practicing, fasting and praying and ministering this, 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 because I'm not getting any results. I'm not seeing any signs. I'm not seeing any wonders. I'm not seeing really any salvations. I'm not seeing any healings. I'm not seeing any breakthroughs. No deliverances. Matter of fact, my family is a wreck. My finances are jacked up. I'm really not seeing a manifestation of really anything that I'm dancing, anything that I'm singing, or whatever other artistic mean that you, you know, that God has gifted you in. You're not seeing the manifestation of that in your life. That shouldn't be. Because we should minister from a place of victory, not in a place of weakness. Now, can God do it? Yeah. There's been times when as I was ministering, he took my weakness and made it into perfect strength, right? There were times when I felt like I was, and it, it was okay if I was challenged in my faith. That was okay. I wasn't leaving God. But in it, as I positioned myself and submitted and still ministered, I got delivered while I was dancing. I remember that. And it caused a breakthrough in the whole place. 
because I was able to give God my weakness and I was not afraid to be like, I need help here, God. Here are my broken pieces. I'm still going to minister before you now. I'm still going to pray. I'm still going to worship. But God, I, this is completely broken. This is broken. I'm not hiding it from you. I'm not. So if you want me to minister with these broken pieces, I will. Oh, shit. Kayama Shatama felt the anointing. I will. But let me tell you what he did. As I gave them, gave him those broken pieces when I ministered, healing manifested. So, back to this. <laughs> because there are some new, 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 new things that God wants to share with you. And there's some things, some new things that God wants to show you. And there's some new realms of creativity and choreography all right that is already in you see this is the thing dancers this is the thing i'm gonna challenge y'all because listen this is what god challenged me <laughs> but god challenged me <laughs> god bless you yolanda sonia tanya god bless you guys this listen because i i've been i've been thinking a lot about um I'm, my mind is always thinking about choreography. It really is. <laughs> my mind is always thinking about choreography, even if I'm not chore choreographing. My, my mind is always kind of, kind of thinking um, and petitioning God. And, you know, one of the things that he challenged me with was, how can I, how can I, how can I put this? It actually came from, um, it came from a conversation that I was having and I won't like fully d d disclose it, but the person said to another person, um, why don't you, you know, you could just go on YouTube and just, and just, um, you know, see, basically see choreography. And when I said that, I said, no, I said, they don't have to do that. All they have to do is spend time with the father. Now, I know that that's easier, easier said than done. Sorry, I have to put my, I have to put this on the charger. Because we, at this point, we're like spoiled. <laughs> we have so much at our hands at this point. I mean, yeah, you can, you can go on YouTube and watch a whole dance production. You can go on YouTube and get inspired for, you know, choreography ideas and all of that you can go on YouTube and take a dance class I mean Christ Center has virtual dance classes those there's a fee but there's things on YouTube that are completely free that you can just get but if you're a pioneer there's a higher price and if you want miracle signs and wonders when you minister you need to shut the YouTube off and get on your face because the reality is, and this is what God um, uh, showed me. He said, do you realize that, like, he was like, I don't know why. And I felt, and now how God deals with, talks to me is a little bit different sometimes. Sometimes he's very, he's very gentle. And most of the times he, he is. But he was like, I don't know why you think that it's just going to be like that. Like, I don't know why you think that you don't have to work for it. I don't know why you think that you don't have to sacrifice for it. Like, I don't know why you think that. Now, granted, we are in a, a, a time where everything is easy. Everything is at our fingertips. We get that, right? Everything, you know, that's why some people do lack in some areas because they're not used to actually having to work hard for something. But... You know, when I was reading, I have a book on the pioneers of modern dance. And in the book, it talks about the journey of some of the, you know, uh, uh, founders, if you will, and pioneers, honestly, of cer certain modern dance styles that we actually do today and how they started. And a lot of them started off, you know, they, they all started off with training. They got under somebody and sat for years and trained 
and disciplined themselves and then they developed their own but they had a foundation right it was built off of a foundation that they had but they still had to they they put their bodies through discipline i don't know why dancers think that they don't have to dance <laughs> i just don't understand if i could just say that i really don't know but he was like if there was no youtube then how do you think that they were coming up with choreography how do you think that they were coming up with these masterpieces right that like 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 swan lake like Alvin Ailey's revelations like there are certain pieces that are timeless that were done not by liturgical dancers yet but there are these timeless pieces that have an impact on culture that have an impact on someone's I wouldn't say spirit but do have an impact on their emotions but they didn't have YouTube. They grinded in a studio and sweated and worked and pulled on what they believed was in them. That's where I'm getting at. Why aren't we pulling on what is already in us? Listen, if you truly, and this may hurt someone's feelings, but I just don't care at this point. You already know I'm, I'm different now. <laughs> if you are a dancer, right dance is in you sometimes you need to be in the right environment sometimes you do need the right keys to unlock the dance that's in you keys isn't that something isn't that beautiful Ke music keys sometimes you need the right keys sometimes it is the audible sometimes it's the inaudible sometimes it's the wind but there's a, there are keys that will unlock dance that's in you if you are a dancer. Now, if you're struggling, like, listen, you may not be a dancer. That's the black and white. Because certain things should not be hard for us. They shouldn't be. They really shouldn't be. And I, I'm just... And I'm going I'm to get to this in, in, one, in one second. I'm going to get to Isaiah 58. I'm saying this because in order for us to go fully into this new era, you have to be in the right place. You can't be what you want to be. You have to be who God says you are. I'm going to say that again. You can't be who you want to be. All because you want to wave a flag don't make you a flag minister all because you can do this and do this and you go out and spend thousands of dollars on flags doesn't mean that that's what you're called to do i'm saying that because i'm seeing it all over the place i'm sorry it's just like someone black and white who cannot sing but they want to so badly. It's the same thing. You have to come to the end of your flesh. And that's all it is. It's flesh. It's flesh. It's people that don't want to be obedient. It's people that still Christians, I still want to do my own thing because I believe God is calling me to do it and I'm going to do it. It is disobedient. It's time for us because some people, they're going to go into this new era and they'll be like, how come things aren't changing? Because you're in the wrong place. How come this is not working? Because you're in the wrong place. How come this, this, this? Did you ask God what your assignment is? Because the anointing will 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 help you will help the assignment. You're trying to work your anointing in a place that you're not even assigned to. I don't know why I'm going down this this road. But it is time. I believe there's going to be. We're going to start to see this, which is a separation. 
between those that are supposed to be in this area and those that are not that need to get in the area where they're supposed to be why let's go to Isaiah 59 58 why is it so important now this is just the area of worship arts YouTube and Facebook this is just the area of worship arts, but this can apply to everything as we enter into these next 10, 10 years. Why is it so important that we get in our right place, that we let go of flesh, that we let go of our will and what we want and pick up God's assignment for our life? Pick up the area that we're really supposed to be in and do it. Do you know how many things, like y'all know, y'all know so many things that I'm that God has asked me to do that I really did not want to do, but I did it. And I'm sure you have those testimonies as well. Why is it so important that we are in our place? Why is it so important that this happened? We're going to see it. Mark my words. We're going to see a separation and some it's going to hurt. But that's okay. It must be. Why? Because of Isaiah 58. And I'm going to close with this. I'm going to read from the Amplified Version. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up your voice like a trumpet and declare to my people their transgressions and to the house of Jacob their sins. Yet they seek, inquire for, inquire and require me daily and delight to know my ways as a nation that did righteously and forsook not the ordinances of their God. They ask of me righteous judgments. They delight to draw near to God. Why have we fasted, they say, and you do not see? Why have we afflicted ourselves and you take no knowledge of it? Behold, O Israel, of the day of your fast, when you should be uh, Great, 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 I'm sorry, when you should be grieving of your sins, you find profit in your business. And instead of stopping all work, as the law implies you and your workmen should do, you extort from your hired servants. Now, if you continue to go down, some people call this God's chosen fast. Why aren't things working now? Let's go to Isaiah 59. Still that same train of thought, right? Still that same train of thought. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened at all that it cannot save, nor his ears dull with, de with deafness that it cannot hear, but your iniquities have made a separation between you and your God, and your sins are hidden, have hidden his face from you so that he will not hear verse 3 for your hands are defiled with blood and your fingers with iniquity and your lips have spoken lies your tongue murders wickedness none sues or calls in righteousness but for the sake of doing injury to others to take some undue advantage no one goes to the law earnestly and pleads in truth they trust in emptiness worthlessness and frailty and speaking lies they conceive mischief and bring forth evil they hatch adders eggs and weave of spiders webs he who eats of their eggs dies and what is crushed of vipers breaks out and is crushed sorry which is crushed of vipers breaks out their webs will not serve as clothing nor will they cover themselves with what they have made. Their works are works of iniquity and the acts of violence in their hands. Their feet run to do evil and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Desolation and destruction are in their path and highways. The way of peace they do not know and there is no justice or right in their doings. They have made them into crooked ways. Whoever goes in them does not know peace. Therefore, our, therefore, our justice and right far from us and righteousness and salvation do not overtake us. 
we expectantly wait for light but see darkness for brightness but we walk in obscurity and gloom we grope for the wall like the blind yes we grope like those who have no eyes we stumble at noonday as in the twilight in dark places and among those who are full of life and vigor we are as dead men we all groan and growl like bears and moan like doves we look for justice but there is none for salvation but it is far off for our transgressions are multiplied before you O lord and our sins testify against us for our transgressions are with us and as for our iniquities we know and recognize them rebelling against and denying god turning away from following our god speaking oppression and revolt convincing in and murdering and moaning from the heart words of falsehood justice is turned away backwards and righteousness upstanding right standing with god stands afar off for truth has fallen in the streets and uprightness cannot enter yes truth is lacking and he who departs from evil makes himself a prey my god the lord saw it and it displeased him that there was no justice why is it so important for us to get out of the flesh for some of you you're gonna have to forgive I feel that it, 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 it it's something that happened to you years ago it's time to move on it, it, it's really time it is time to cut it off forgive and go forward You've wasted too much time. It's time to just let it go. Now listen, you're talking to somebody, and I know most of y'all don't know my testimony. The things that I had to forgive and let go would blow your mind. So you're not talking to somebody who is like, oh, well, she's just, no. When I be like, it can be done. You have to forgive and let go and move on. Because verse, chapter, sorry, 59 talks about a state of people. It's the condition of people that all of these things are in the world and then God solves it and he displeases it. And if you continue down, he wonders and ponders, how come this is to be? Where are the intercessors? <laughs> what is happening here? How come nobody else is, is there nobody concerned? Listen, we say that we are, you know, for the world. God use us. God take us to the nations. God anoint us. God put your glory on us. God send us forth. But yet you can't do the small stuff. I know this is harsh, but this is where we're at. Because you need this to, for this new era. You need to get stuff straight now. While we're in the beginning of the year, get it straight now. Because this, Isaiah 59, if you, if you break all of the stuff down that God is seeing, that Isaiah is writing, if you break all of that down, you will see parallels in the state of our world today. And God is wondering, where are the people that are supposed to be able to counteract all of this? Where are we? We're trying to do our own thing. That's where we are. We, we trying to be. We trying to be seen. We're trying to be popular. We're trying to get Facebook likes. 
We're trying to get YouTube likes. Where, where are we? We're still trying to do our own thing. That's why it's so important that you submit to God. And whatever he's asking you to do, do it. Whatever it is, big or small, because there are, as you read, God is wondering where are his people? Where are the people that are supposed to be able to counteract all of this? Listen, something small. Those of you that are doing, you know, dance conferences and all of that, you know, one thing that God really impressed on the Worship Encounter team was to not only pray diligently for those that are coming, pray for every single person that will be in the hotel when you are there. Not only that, pray for that community. Why would God send you to a place to just do your little workshop, to do your little concert, to do your little conference, and you don't have a heart to pray for the place that you're at? You don't have a heart to pray for that neighborhood? You don't have a heart to pray for the people living here or here. You don't have a heart to pray for them. What are we doing? We're doing our own thing. That's what we're doing. Lord, forgive us. It is so much. I'm telling you, this weekend just rocked me. It just rocked me, guys. Because when God asks or requires something of you, it's so much bigger than what you think. It, it, it's so much bigger than what you could possibly imagine. God needs your obedience. He needs the partnership. Like, he is not going to override what he, what he has established, the authority given to man. He is not overriding that. If we don't do it, it's not going to get done. I'm going to say that again. If we don't do it, it won't get done. I don't want in closing, and I really mean that. I don't want to get to heaven and God shows me pictures of people and says they died early because of you. They went through 10 years of needless suffering because of you. They lost their home because of you. This happened because of you because of your pride. Guys, I, I can no longer tolerate that in me or in others that are around me. I can't, I can't, I can't tolerate it. I can't. So, let's pray. Let's pray. I know that that was, you know, normally they're a little bit more livelier than <laughs> the reflection, but you know, when I think about one of the associate pastors, a man of God at my church, was talking to um, talking to us yesterday about a testimony of um, someone that used to be in the occult and how. How they operate just by by the person's testimony and it it parallels and even goes more further than we than 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 we do 
so to speak, some of the things that that they do. It's like they have more faith in what they do than sometimes we do. So yeah, let's pray. Let's pray. This is very sobering. Very sobering. Um, if you have any urgent prayer requests, either YouTube, family, or Facebook, you can put them in in the comment section now. And um, we're going to pray. Amen. Yes. I'm reading the YouTube comment. Submission is the key. Yes, it is. Submission is the key. North Korea is coming. Amen. 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 Yes. Thank you guys. Thank you for hanging out with us. It is late. Um, we had a late start. Um, but yeah. And thank you guys. Um, thank you for putting the scripture um, where we were at. Putting the scriptures up. Amen. So I'm just going to enter into prayer. If you do have any prayer requests, you can um, put them in the comment section. If you're watching this outside of the live broadcast time, then by all means, please send your prayer requests to gcf.together at gmail.com. That's gcf.together at gmail.com. And we will make sure that they are prayed for. Amen. Amen. So I'm just checking to make sure that there are none. And I know on Facebook there's a little delay. There's a little delay. Amen. Glory to God. All right, guys. If you have any um, requests, just put them. Just put them down. Thank you, Tanya. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. And as you are, even though, you know, I'm the only one live, um, please join in prayer and pray with, with me as well. If you see prayer requests come up, then please um, engage in prayer with me. Amen. Amen. Um, amen. Amen, Armando. Oh my God, yes, Armando, I forgot about that. This is the year of the voice, isn't it? This is the year of the voice. Father, we give you glory. Hallelujah, we give you honor. I'm going to be praying in my unknown tongue, um, in my prayer language. It's not um, a prophecy. If it is, um, normally I do have the interpretation, um, but I will let you know that. But right now I'm just going to, I'm just, it's just my, my prayer language in my unknown tongue. Hallelujah, God. We magnify you. We honor you. We acknowledge you as God. We acknowledge you as King. We acknowledge you as Master. We acknowledge you as Lord of all. We acknowledge you. We acknowledge you. We acknowledge you as Master. As we are here, God, we ask first that you forgive us of places where we have not submitted at God, places that we have still allowed our flesh to rise up above your will, God. We acknowledge those places, God, and we tear them down glory God you know what I just had a vision of that 
as we as we just prayed that and as we just spoke that I saw a wall and when we prayed that they be teared down I saw it being torn down and what's happening is that if we allow those walls to stay up wherever they are it's going to um, the Holy Ghost is not going to be able to flow freely which means that you're not going to be used to the capacity that that you believe meaning that you may minister and you may be like how come it's not because it's not that the atmosphere isn't conducive it's the Holy Ghost can't have free range in you because of those walls amen Oh, Holy Ghost, we want you to have free reign and free access to us, free access to our bodies, free access to our mouths, free access to our minds. We ask that you identify to us areas that we have not submitted in, areas where we still have those walls in the name of Jesus. Our desire is of the Father. We want our desire to be the Father's desire. Oh, my God, and you know what the thing is, too? I saw this, you know, some of you may be asking, well, how do I know what God's desire is? Listen, when you receive him and you receive the Holy Ghost, right? The Holy Ghost is living in you. When those walls come down enough, God's desires are able to come up from within you because the Holy Ghost is in you. So the desires of the Father are with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost only does what you know, just like Jesus said, I only do what I see my father doing, right? The Holy Ghost only does what he hears and, and, and is directed to do by Jesus and by the Father, right? They, they are one. The Holy Ghost is with us. The desires of the Father are then with us. But if we have our walls up and if we still are enacting our will, it will supersede that. So, you know, so some of you may be asking, well, how am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know? Listen, that's why that devotion time is still is so important, that time of building a relationship, because then it's just like any other relationship. You get to know them. You get to know their ways. You get to know how he speaks to you. You'll get to know that. Let your will be ours. Tear down every wall. We give you free reign in our life, free reign in our bodies, free reign in our thoughts. Desensitize us again, God. Desensitize us, God. Again, we want to be sensitive to you. We want to be sensitive to your heart. We want to be sensitive to your heart, God. Hallelujah. Now, we're going to do something like we did during the worship arts encounter and this is something that I would challenge you to do as often as you can we're just going to be silent now I'm still going to rock but we're just going to be silent amen
remain silent. I believe the Lord is changing some of your eyesight. Feel the Spirit of God ministering to some of you. Hmm. <laughs> you know what I heard? heard if we would make this more of a practice and I even heard this for myself too if we make this more of a practice we will get to a place where things become very easy because just like it might have been hard for some of you not to say like hallelujah and glory or speak in tongues or, you know, do what you would normally do in that time of silence. Because sometimes we really think that God needs our, our, he needs our partnership. He needs, he doesn't need our extra efforts. He needs our obedience. He doesn't need the works. Does that make sense? Unless he asks of them. But if he's saying, be still and know that I am God. And all of those walls are down. He's like, I just need, I just need you. I, I don't. It's time, ladies and gentlemen, for our relationship with the Father. To be the primary thing and to be the only thing that matters. I, I, I saw, I got an image of a dancer and it was, it was a woman, she was preparing to dance and she was just still before God and silent. And she went forth with such an anointing to do, because anointing is to do something, right? To do the assignment that God had given her for, for the dance, right? And it was effortless because it was no longer her strength. She had yielded completely to him. She had yielded completely to him. And he covered her with such a glory. And because of their relationship, the relationship was what was magnified when she ministered. Her faith and belief in God that he can do anything. ignited the room with miracles because she wasn't ministering at a place of you know having to work for the miracle it was the place of knowing her father the one she spends time with all the time is more than able to do anything. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, YouTube family and GCF family. God bless you guys for being with me. Listen, I know it's late, so I do appreciate you staying with me. Next week, we will be back together. 
the 31st at 9 Eastern Standard Time. I should not be late. You should be able to start on time. Um, we will be praying. Listen, if you feel led to fast, then, then do it. For real. Um, I already told it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know, right? I just read someone's post. Yeah. Yeah, guys. Um, if you're led to do that, I, I will be. Maybe I'll put on um, YouTube or Facebook. Um, I will be fasting. Um, I just, I'm, I'm feeling that heaviness even now. But um, come, come and join me, right? The more the merrier. Next Thursday, we will be, we're going in. We're going in. Come, listen, um, I may, I may be, I may broadcast it on the floor. Um, Cause that's probably where we, we, we're gonna, we're gonna end up. And we're gonna pray and we're gonna intercede. And we're gonna be led by the spirit of God. I may have some people come on live and join me. Um, we're going to have our Bibles with us, right? And um, we're going to um, we're going to pray and intercede and cover. We're going to cover those that don't know what they're doing. I'm sorry, I'm going to cry. We're going to cover, and we're going to counteract the releases and the. Th the releases of the warfare. Amen. All right, guys, listen. God bless you. God bless you all on YouTube. God bless you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful night. And God bless you, GCF Ministries. You know I love you. We are back. Um, Thursdays. Thursdays is actually an easier day for my husband. Um, those of you know, he is more, uh, he does so much, but what he uh, does during the day is he teaches high school. He's a high school teacher. So um, Mondays, we were having this on Mondays. It was just a difficult day for, for him. He needed to have some time where he can digress and grade papers and all that, and we have our baby. So Thursdays is a better night, except for <laughs> just one Thursday out of the month. But that's all right. So listen, guys, God bless you all and have a great night. Bye-bye.